Potentials are like elastic bands. The more effort you put on them, like training, the more they can be stretched, and so on and so forth. Today I'll be talking about the problem of lack of quality education and training in Africa. And that is affecting the economic growth in Africa. Now, this topic is relevant because a high rate of economic growth in Africa could affect the world's economic growth as a whole. Therefore, my objective today is to get you guys to support the Africa America Institute to fix this problem of lack of quality education and training. I'll start off by talking about the problems in the two problems, lack of education. According to um, an article titled Africa, Africa's Education Crisis in School But Not Learning by Justin Fleet, it states that out of 128 million school age kids, 17 million would never go to school. 30 million would learn so little that it would be as though they never went to school. And then 61 million kids would get to their adolescence lacking the basic literacy and numeracy skills. So that's the first problem, lack of quality education. Now the second problem, lack of quality training. It is reflected in the rate of unemployment in Africa. About 50% of African graduates are unemployed. And then those that are employed, some people earn less than $2 a day. It is therefore not surprising that the GDP of Africa in 2014 decreased from 5.1% to 3.4%. And then in 2016, the expected GDP growth rate was 2.9% below expectation. Now we know what the problems are. Lack of quality, education, and training. Now we know what the problems are. Let's talk about how we could fix this problem. This is where the Africa America Institute comes into play. It's an uh, NGO organization, a US-based organization that was founded in 1953. And uh, its mission is to improve Africa's human capacity through um, quality education and training. Now, how is this organization going to fix this problem? There are three ways. The first way is it's through its uh, transformational leadership program. This program has been designed to, to um, give professionals in the field of, of um, medicine, education, and business with high quality training. This is not only meant to um, help them get quality training, but also give them an entrepreneurial mindset so that they would create organizations and that would lead to the creation of jobs and that would alleviate unemployment in Africa. The second way they can fix this problem is through the state of educational program. This program has been designed to review the academic progress in Africa and the state of education and um, through, the, through panels of professionals in uh, the field of education, they provide reforms on how the state of education can be increased in Africa. And this would be effective to increase the quality of education in Africa. The final um, program they have is the, um, the AAI Future Leadership Legacy Fund, which provides scholarships to Africa's brightest students to study in uh, the best universities around the world and in Africa and in hopes of them helping their countries to um, experience growth. Now, these programs are going to be effective because one, the transformational leadership program would help professionals to be entrepreneurial and provide jobs for the 50% who are unemployed in Africa and uh, the state of education program that provides reforms for the state of education in Africa would, would provide better ideas to improve the state 
of education in, uh, in Africa. Um, now that we know um, what they can do to fix this problem, what can you do to help them fix this problem, or why should you help them fix this problem? Well, firstly, I've spoken about um, what they do to fix this problem, and I've shown you how they can do this effectively. The second reason why you should help them fix this problem is, by, um, is because they are a credible organization. They've been around for about 60 years, and according to one of the greatest presidents of Africa, Nelson Mandela, he says that this organization has been very instrumental to the lives of African citizens by providing them quality education and training. They also have um, 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 donors like uh, NYU and Coca-Cola and Mitsubishi supporting their mission. Thirdly, they have experience in carrying out this mission to improve the quality of education and training in Africa. They've trained about 3,200 professionals in a, in a review from 1963 to 2003, and about 85% to 90% of professionals that went out of their nations came back to help their nation. So that is outstanding, and that is the best way to, to, to see results in Africa, by getting professionals come back to help their nations. Now that we know why we should help this organization, how can we help them fix this problem? Well, the best way to help the AAI fix the problem of low quality education and training in Africa is by supporting them financially. Because they're an NGO organization and the um, majority of their funds come from donations and uh, uh, and funds from, uh, from charitable organizations. And so this would work best to maintain and improve the programs they have set up to um, achieve their mission. To recap all that I have said, firstly, I spoke about the two problems, lack of education and training in Africa. Secondly, I spoke about what the AAI can do to fix this problem. Thirdly, I spoke about why you should you should help them fix this problem. And fourthly, I spoke about how you could help them solve this problem. Now, would you help this organization fix the problem of lack of quality education and training? Potentials are like elastic bands. The more effort and training you put on them, the further they can stretch. By supporting this organization, you will help them to to stretch out the potential of African students and the economy of Africa even further. Thank you very much.